<laughs> How's it going, y'all? It's your boy Weasel, and today we're gonna be playing Winter's Embrace, and you might have noticed, hey, my boy hasn't, like, done ten cuts in the first five seconds of the video. Well, um, I'm, I'm reverting to OG Weasel a little bit, I'm taking it a little bit easier, I'm having a little bit more fun with this, and uh, Winter's Embrace is mostly going to be an uncut series of The Long Dark. Winter's Embrace uh, is a little bit more difficult than your average Starker difficulty, as far as I understand, but not quite Interloper. It's a time-limited event. You see, like, 11 days and 14 hours left until July 31st. Um, you can earn two badges in here, and you can just, well, uh, earn some limited bragging rights, I guess. All right, so we still get to select where we want to start. Um, since this is an interloper, I would say we're just going to go ahead and start at... No, I don't like Pleasant Valley. We're going to start at Coastal Highway. Yeah, why not? Um, if there's loot, there's going to be lots of loot in Coastal Highway. All right, uh, let's go with female. And yeah, well, this is the only feed I can activate. I still haven't unlocked <laughs> any other. Ah, well, this is this, this my life. All right, let's go ahead. We could activate up to four feats, which would make it very easily, uh, easy, or it would at least. Uh, Winter's Embrace, Winter's Embrace, please. And uh, yeah, deep cold has descended on Great Bear Island. Frequent enduring storms ravaged the region, and even the best shelters won't be the same refuge they once were. There's only one goal, survive. I think 25 days um, is what you need to survive. I'll have to look into that again. All right, wonderful. All right, what do we start with? Now that's 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 an important question. Um, inventory, show me. So looks like we're wearing some decentish clothes, and that's not bad. Some wet water. I mean, this is this. I feel spoiled after playing Interloper the whole time. By the way, Interloper Sandbox, not over. I just figured while we have this limited uh, event, I'm just going to do my best uh, surviving in that. At least, uh, I will try to do my best. Uh, I don't think there's any specific goal to accomplish other than surviving, which is what I will do. What time is it, by the way? Um, I don't even know. We would figure that out in our inventory, right? If we, I mean, tab. Yeah, okay, so it's, it's, wait. Is it morning? Or is it evening? I'm a little bit concerned. Oh, okay, it's it's morning. Game isn't that mean. It's like, oh yeah, let's uh, start you off at night. That would be rather rude. All right, we don't have a pry bar, so we're not opening this car up. Um, yeah, give me that stone. I don't know if we're going to need uh, to hunt tons of rabbits. I mean, you know, some rabbit skin mitts, mittens would be great, but for now I'm feeling pretty hopeful that this is not going to be the worst. I'm so used to zooming in in other games that I just pressed my middle mouse button hoping I could like zoom in on this island back there. But ain't that ain't happening. All right, let's get that let's get that stamina up. That's how that works, right? I just realized that there's filters in this game like this uh, heritage filter based on the look of the 1970s and 80s. And yeah, it's kind of like, gives it really this vintage vibe, like I'm looking at it through an old TV, you know, VHS. It's kind of a bummer that the interface isn't affected, so that kind of doesn't work. And also, wow, this is this is just very milky looking. Do I have matches? I probably do. I mean, if you're feeling particularly artsy, you can also just go black and white, which, yeah, I can't, still can't see a whole lot, can I now? Nope. I'm mostly blind. All right, we're gonna sleep an hour just to progress day and time and bring the light levels in this uh, cabin up a bit. It's very cold in the morning, so it does make sense to skip ahead a little bit. Oh, that's so much better. I can finally see things. Well, that was an interesting excursion into the two available filters that I just found out about. I think I'm good without either. But I could definitely see the long dark with a um, PlayStation 1 aesthetic. That would work just fine. 
And I mean, it's the hot stuff. I mean, I assume it still is. Gaming trends do tend to last a little bit longer than just a few weeks, but yeah. The PS1 look is uh, the hot new craze. I kind of like it, too. Wow, look at all these... Uh, Ooh, there's a, there's a workbench. Look at all these uh, huts. <gasps> Hunting knife. Wow, well, would you look at that? That's a that's a great find. Early on, wonderful. Yeah, this is gonna be, it's gonna be a cakewalk. He says before dying an awful awful death by the jaws of a wolf. All right. Hmm. Wow, pretty pretty big pier. I don't know if it's worth exploring that uh, in any great detail. All right, let's check out this little hut. We're just gonna go through them, grabbing all the loot we can. Clothing is kind of like high on my list right now. Decent thin wool sweater. You know what? That's pretty. Um, that's pretty decent. Oh, it's cold in here. Decent dress shirt. Who am I trying to impress? Impress. Who am I trying to impress? Decent cotton toque. Okay, some simple tools. Also very useful. Let's see what we have in the backpack. Nothing. Well, that's very similar to Interloper, but man, I'm just drowning in loot. This feels ridiculous, comparatively. Um, yeah, we're not gonna put anything in that container. Ooh, what am I seeing? I'm seeing some sneakers. Sneakers, please. Okay, let's see what we can uh, throw on our body because we're a little cold. Um, we're gonna throw that decent thin wool sweater on. Um, I don't think that this, wait, this is better than my uh, hoodie, the decent dress shirt. I mean, the hoodie isn't in great condition. I will give it that, but I would still assume that this one would do better. Guess I'll wear a dress shirt. Not bad. Throw that toque on there. Oh no, we're gonna we're gonna have to um, switch that around. Just here, like that. Ah, that looks better. Gotta make sure to look all snazzy. Can I just wear that too? So we have the nice dress shirt. Nope, that that's still underneath. Okay, I guess that makes sense. So these are a little bit better. So I will be wearing some decent running shoes. Now oh, this one actually reduces the sprint speed. I was not aware that it does that. You would think that some running shoes would bring it up a little bit, wouldn't you? I guess not on ice. It's not really the great, um, the greatest place to. Uh, Run on. All right, then. Should I? Yeah, I should just go to the other houses. I shouldn't just take another hour's rest. Despite my temperature not looking too good. I don't want to, like, catch hypothermia in the first episode. People are going to judge me so harshly. It's like, Weasel, it's not even interloper, and you suck. I mean, you're not wrong. But I don't want to hear that. By the way, on that note, have you considered leaving a like? Or, you know, a comment or subscribing if you haven't already, because it's free. All of those things are free. And, oh, check out those beans. Oh, peaches. Okay. Eating a lot of peaches. Out in the country. I forgot all the lyrics. That's fine. Um, all right, then. Let's eat something. Let's go for the stale beef jerky. And that's about it. Um, don't really need to eat much more. I'm doing fine on that front. I'm surprised I'm not warming up. Um, I think the idea is that shelters are not as warm anymore. That's the whole idea of um, Winter's Embrace. So, yeah, we're freezing. So, <laughs> it might not be the worst idea to repair our clothes as soon as we can. So... Gonna loot this place <clears throat> fairly quickly, or at least I'll try. Ooh, this is a ketchup chips. Sweet, sweet, sweet. That's new. Running shoes. Yes, please. Um, by the way, ketchup chips, amazing. Um, I didn't know it was like a mostly um, Canadian thing, but I had ketchup chips in, um, I remember like buying a pack in Germany at one point. I mean, Pombian with ketchup, and they were delicious. Um, should we break this down? Yeah, we'll break this down. Whatever, that's fine. We're losing a little bit of health, and I don't necessarily like that. So maybe I should lay down for a second. Just just to warm up. 
and then repair some clothing to bring up the temperature. I think there's nothing left in here. Is there? No, we're good. All right. <sighs> Tell you what, that gets 10 uh, degrees. It's going to get colder as time goes on as well. We could also just pass some time, but it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me to pass time if we could also just sleep. We're not going to freeze to death, and this is going to at least warm us up a tiny bit. It's going to feel like 30-something. So, yeah, I can see... I can see the difficulty with this game mode if everything's much, much colder. That's an interesting variant. And I'm going to look forward to um, having fun with that. Yeah. Even during the day with the stuff we're wearing. This is extremely cold. All right. Um, Coastal Highway is quite a bit away. Oh, not Coastal Highway. I forgot what it was called. Quonset Gas Station. I forgot what the town is called that Quonset gas station is located in. But there's plenty of houses, so that would be worth um, exploring. Yep, hypothermia risk. Our good old friend, hypothermia risk. So, yeah, doing um, starting fires and whatnot is definitely going to be high on the list. So a hatchet would be great, because that'll allow us to get firewood fairly easily. I'm not going to break down any branches out here. It's way too cold to do things um, longer than absolutely necessary. Quick look. Glove box. Mm, yeah, there's nothing behind those visors. Still looking. Nope. Nothing in there. And on we go. Okay. Well, we might come across a dead animal. Because I'm pretty sure that's why they are circling around, right? to indicate a dead animal. Well, I'm not gonna like start harvesting that. We do have some food, we're not that desperate. So I'm not gonna get greedy to just grab everything I can. I'm just kinda curious about... Hmm, I don't see a dead animal. Okay, keep your eyes up ahead, otherwise you're gonna like run into a friggin' bear. No, no on my uh, luck. I would just straight up walk to big old grumpy bear. And I really don't want to do that. I think bears are super cool. And I would love to meet one in real life. But a friendly one, if you know what I mean. Like, I wouldn't necessarily like meeting a wild one. I think... Um, it would be very clear who'd win that fight. And, uh, spoiler... It would not be me. All right, so this one is locked up, so we can go in here, but yeah, we're gonna check out this here real quick. <sighs> I think I'm not going to nap here. I'm just gonna like, yeah, oh, good, storm lantern, that'll help when it's dark. Ooh, ski jacket, now we're talking. Jerry can, I should have looked how much is in there. I'm just grabbing it real quick. Decent womb mittens, hey. Maybe I should spend some time here, um, Repairing stuff. Revolver ammunition, a book, a flare. Man, this is great. It's like Christmas after playing Interloper for uh, so long. This is really just, just great. All right, let's have a look. So we can throw that ski jacket on. 2.4 adds a good amount of warmth to it. And the mittens. So these are a little bit better. And these are even better. Decent wool mittens. Okay. Yeah, I think we can, like, improve our warmth situation quite a bit. Um, if we um, repair the stuff. Old bedroom. Oh, sorry, sir. I did not see you. Or ma'am. Don't, or, you know, don't want to make any assumption. Person. Dusty dog food. One wool took. Okay. Okay. Lots of uh, cloth to rip apart. Okay. Okay. Once I hit Quonset gas station, I'm most certainly going to just start a fire in uh, a fire barrel, and then I'm going to start working on the clothing. Because that should be the most important thing right now. Because hypothermia ain't funny. I mean, hypothermia, like, isn't funny in any situation. I'm trying to think how hypothermia would be funny. Maybe as, like, a punchline to a joke. I, you know, don't know what joke would have hypothermia as a punchline. But maybe maybe, maybe you guys know. Hmm. All right, we got this little mine shaft that doesn't 
I don't think it leads to any places, but I mean, loot's loot, loot. Let's see how warm it is inside here. Um, quick look tells me, feels like 30, yeah, yep, 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 still, still freezing very well. Freezing very well, yeah. Well said, Weasel, you're freezing very well. Your ability to freeze is unlike any others I've seen. It's like your body was not made for warmth. Cured leather, heavy hammer, flare. Hmm. Okay. Decent windbreaker. Hey, that might be worth replacing. Yep. I have a ragged windbreaker. Now we have a good one. We're getting close to... Ooh, firearm cleaning kit, a hacksaw, a whetstone. This... That's insane. Can't believe how much good stuff we're finding. Uh, more accelerant. If we uh, ever don't feel like starting a fire proper. Mm, a backpack, yes. Backpack. Not Batman. Backpack. Ba ba backpack. <laughs> I want Bane to advertise backpacks. I don't know why. Mm, backpack. This is uh this is the best um bane that I can do for you right now, guys. I know, I know. The 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 resemblance is uncanny. You're just like, whoa, did I just Did I just watch a Dark Knight movie in the long dark? That's wow. I know, no, just just calm just calm down. I know. I know. No, you can't have an autograph. Cause you're you're just gonna use it to uh send me washing machines. Just probably gonna send me like some weird contracts. Like, hey, could you sign this? I'm like, no, no, I don't I don't do that anymore. You, you know. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, still shame on you, you know? Like the saying Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on you. Like, uh, shame on, shame on me. No, no, you, you are still fooling me. Like, what kind of logic is this? It's like, oh, you know, if you trick me once, it's your fault. If you trick me twice, it's, it's entirely my fault. I mean, I understand, like, you know, like, oh, you didn't learn anything from it. But come on, it's still the other person's fault because they, they're still tricking you. Anyway, I'm just going off on the rails here. Talking about rails. Why is there no rails going on? Oh, there are, there are rails, but they don't go anywhere near this town. I guess that's what you have a highway for. Can you not run it? Oh, wow, this is this is how we run. But uh, look at look at this. I like that we have hands. I would really like some feet. Oh, why did I keep this thing on? I'm just so distracted. Just put that away. Can we run faster now? No. Cool, look at my health. Almost dead. Almost dead. It's time that we uh, get into the fire making business and we're gonna have to heal up. Ah, <sighs> boy. Here I thought this was gonna be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Do I have a stim pack so I can just book it? Because, um. No. We, we do not have a stim pack. Good. Very good. Am I slowing down because I'm like freezing to the core? You're so cold that your muscles literally freeze. Ugh. Frostbite is a is is a mean thing. Just the idea of like you're I don't even want to think too much about it. Man, here's me. I should have just stayed in that mine for a little bit. I don't have a bedroll, so I couldn't really just sleep there. And we're not gonna be warming up in this car anytime soon. Uh, feels like 16, Jesus. Oof, this is rough. This is really, really, really rough. We need fire soon. Um, yeah, nothing I have is gonna help me out immediately here. I'm just uh, getting some composure. A quick look in the glove box. Nope. I don't see anything on the back seat. You figure I would be able to have a better look on the back seat. 
Okay, how far away from... Is this the entrance to the town? I think it might be, guys. I think it might be. Yep, I see. It's so tiny. It's, it's so super tiny, but I can see, I think, that little outpost. Ah, that little... Or is that a sign? One of those two things. Wow, I'm so slow. I must be so encumbered. No, nope, not even that. That's not even it. I'm just freezing to the ground. Man, that would be a horrible fate. Just freezing to the ground. Which reminds me of the little bird that was frozen onto a metal pole. And the dude just warmed up his legs and then it could fly away. Because some humans are bros. I mean, you know, plenty of dickheads. But some are bros. Okay. I'm just gonna go directly for Quonset Gas Station. I see... Oh, two houses. Not burnt down. Uh, three. The bigger one in the back. Alright, three houses. That ain't bad. Yes! Coastal Townside. It's just called Coastal Townside. It doesn't have a name. Quincy's Quonset. I don't ever think I've really looked at the gas station like this. I always entered from um, the back door. Anyway, in we go. Let's start a fire because I'm about to freeze to death. Death. Okay, there you go. Fire barrels, start fire, and there's a bedroll. Excellent, we're gonna need that. I am not going to wait. I'm gonna use my accelerant to really get it going, and then... Cool, one and a half hours, and we're slowly warming up. Cool, a note left behind. The scrawled musings of a survivor who was here before you. Cool. I think I'll pass. Um, should we just wait? Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna, like, repair something um, until I warm up, and then we're gonna have a look. Hopefully finding a little bit of firewood. So, what makes the most sense to repair right now? Things are not in the worst shape. Um, the shoes. Shoes. Mmm. Okay. We might as well start repairing, like, the took 30 minutes. Seems like a decent amount of time. Wow. Warming up takes a long time. Another storm lantern. I'm just gonna leave it here for now. Spray paint. Car battery. Interesting. Not sure what I do with that car battery. Um, I'm pretty sure my comment section let me know at one point what you can do with those. But as of right now, I don't recall. I don't recall. Hmm, cotton scarf. We can throw that uh, around our head. Is that, nope, that's not gonna help anything. That ain't help. Okay, we got a casing, we got some tomato. That's a lot of casings. What were you shooting here? Okay, bedroll. Um, just staying close to the fire to, you know, warm up a little bit further. Stack of paper. Yeah, fine, you know what? I'll, I'll grab them. I don't really care that I'm encumbered. Revolver cartridge? Wow! I already have bullets. Plenty of, plenty of those revolver ammunition. Off. Okay, we're definitely not going to run out of paper anytime soon. Mm. All right, then. Let's see what else we have. Again, I don't know what to do with that pry bar. That's going to come in handy. A jerry can to fuel our lamp. We already have a hacksaw. I might have to look further into crafting recipes. Bandage, hook... I don't know if fishing is a great idea, given the outside temperatures. Why am I still warm inside right now? Feels like 50. Okay, yeah, I guess the fire has a little bit of a range, which is great. I'm gonna take all the toilet water I can get my grubby little paws on. And now that I have a pry bar, I can open that locker, yeah. Give me your secrets. Show me what it's made. Mm, decent ski jacket. Perfect rifle ammunition. Oh, boys. It's a parka. 
It's a parka, boys. It's it's a parka, boys. We'll be fine. We'll be we'll be fine. Look look at look at that warmth bonus. Ninety nine per. Wow. That's pretty amazing. And then this boy here, decent ski jacket under top. Um, I imagine repairing this one makes sense. All right. The, oh, wow, look at a fridge that actually contains soda. I still don't understand why we can't open the friggin' thing the whole way and I have to like weirdly look in for the side. Seems really impractical. Tasty dog food, beef jerky. I mean, if you're not willing to eat dog food, why are you feeding this to your dog? It's pretty rough. Wow! Two cans of lantern fuel, porks and beans. 25 days, I say, bring it on. Obviously, Quonset Gas Station should be our base of operation um, in the foreseeable future. Ah, uh, yeah. So how long is this gonna burn? 12 minutes, that's a problem. I'm gonna have to add some fuel. I don't have fuel. Hmm. 12 minutes. Well, I goofed up. I goofed! Boys, I goofed. Can I, like, really quickly uh, just grab a stick outside, throw it in the fire just to keep it going? Give me a stick, give me a stick, 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 stick. I need a stick real quick. I'll take this bad boy. Maybe a second one while we're at it. I'm pretty sure the fire is already out. It might not even be worth starting a fire and just like sleeping in a bedroll just to warm up. Because we still have the other houses to look at. But if I'm quick enough. I don't think I was quick enough. <gasps> I'm quick enough. Two minutes. Add fuel. Pow, pow, pow. Okay, 25 minutes. We can work with that means we can go and find more sticks to throw that in there. Yeah. Welcome to Stick Collecting Simulator. My name is Weasel Boy. And I got some sweet old sticks for everyone. Actually, now that I have a hatchet, I might be able to do things a little bit quicker. Hmm. Good question. Let's see. We have these, like, pallets. Uh, <laughs> never mind. Two hours and 15 minutes. That's, that's not gonna fly. But we do have that crate inside, so let's see if we can maybe... Do some magic. What is that? Ooh, revolve ammunition. Uh, see if we can do some magic with this hatchet of ours. Uh, no. No, even with the ha heavy hammer, it's going to take too long. Hmm. You know what? That's fine. I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this outcome. I'm going to have to, like, start putting some things on the ground um, just to store things up. But, yeah, let's just, just, just sleep an hour. Look at that warmth going up. Perfect. Anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this episode. I mean, if you did, you know you know the drill. I already asked you. Um, I hope I will see you guys in the next one where I hopefully will survive too. Um, hope you enjoy the long-form format. I know a lot of you didn't really care for the really fast cuts, and I can understand why. Um, it's a thing that I tried for a while, but ultimately... Um, it's not really working for me as I thought it would. Um, less from like a numbers perspective and more just from a life work balance perspective. Because it's a ton of work and um, in the end uh, I'm just burning myself out trying to edit every video down. And I mean you've seen the, the cuts and sure it's uh, quick, fast, easy entertainment but it doesn't even... ooh. Oh boy. Huh. Takes a be Oh, Long Johns. Look at that. We're ending the episode on a on a little bit of a highlight here. Some pans. So maple syrup. Holy shit. Whoa, maple syrup. Didn't see that one coming. Anyway, before I keep rambling on, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I'm Weasel. I'm out and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye. Bum 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 bum